Is this thing on? Good. So I just came back from a place called South End on Sea. This place called Adventure Island. It's got a very rich history. Apparently, there's some big space for a brand new roller coaster. Now I didn't see exactly what, but I picked out two big sites. As usual, I transferred the knowledge to my good friend Coaster Chow. He'll tell you everything you need to know. Trust me, you're going to want to hear these sites. They're pretty big, and they're pretty good at potential. Whew. I think that was the, the government. They're trying to kick our door down. You need to take this footage, and you need to keep it close to your heart. Coaster Chow will tell you the details. I gotta go. Hello there guys, my name is Coast Shell, Donkster Born, Bob, built for theme park factual entertainment, and welcome to this video. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about potential new roller coasters for Adventure Island in South End on Sea. Now this is not news, obviously. This is just a prediction video, basically highlighting two sites that could be potential new areas for roller coaster development in the future, in the long term future, of course. Now I wanna give a massive shout out to Danny McGill who suggested a five year plan for Adventure Island. That video is coming. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be this year or next year. I might expand on the five year plans going into it. But to be fair, I might not do five year plans next year or next five years next year because we're gonna check in like in five years time from these ones from this year and see you know, if I got them right. So, you know, it may come in five years time, this five year plan, but for now at least, this video is dedicated to potential new relico space and looking at two different sites and seeing which one's best. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And don't forget, guys, 10,000 subscribers means we get our merchandise website off the ground, 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and we get to launch paid memberships which means you guys get to become a paid member of the channel and don't forget we've got loads of future projects in the works so all is good let's get into this video and let's talk about adventure island in south end on sea so adventure island started out in 1918 as a sunken gardens a seaside garden that in the 1920s installed a few children's rights in 1976, the land to the west of the pier was purchased by the Miller family, and in 1995, the park was vastly expanded with the land to the east of the pier was purchased to form part of the park. Complement to the park is the longest pleasure pier in the world, built as a wooden pier in 1830 and rebuilt as a steel pier in 1889. It extends more than a mile towards the ocean, and the pier train runs the entire length of the pier with an extra charge to the lifeboat museum. Adventure Island is not divided into specific areas, but divides its rides into the following categories. Big Adventure, which is blue rides, Junior, which is green rides, and Mini, with its red rides, and the park's mascot is known as Snappy. In 1999, the park debuted the roller coaster Green Scream. It was once described as the park's signature ride, but this title has now been taken by Rage. The second roller coaster at the park was Barnstormer, which opened in 2000. The third was the Mighty Mini Mega, which opened in 2003. Kiddie Coaster opened to the public in 2011, but before that one was Rage, which opened in 2007. One of the biggest investments made by the park at a cost in the region of three million pounds. Located on the former Raging River Log Flume site, Skydrop and Vortex were relocated to new positions in the park to make way. Now, as well as this, in 2011, a crow built its nest at the top of the loop, gathering attention from tabloid newspapers. Back in 2014, Adventure Island demolished the pirate boat, which is one of their oldest attractions, to make way for a new soft play area known as Adventure Inside, which opened back in 2015. And back last year, in 2019, the park opened the £1 million signature ride Axis, a 360 degree pendulum swing that spins you and plunges you over 100 feet in the air. So Adventure Island is one of the parks that's probably one of the most underrated parks. It is the UK's number one free admission fun park and it's got some potential space and that's where we come on to today. So the first site in question is the site of their slide attraction and even though these may not be realistic choices 
in terms of if the part was to be given a financial boost post covid with this extra investment i believe we could see two potential coasters on this site the first of which is a premier skyrocket 2 now this is manufactured by premier rides who are based in baltimore maryland and the skyrocket 2s first came about way back in 2012 with the addition of superman ultimate flight at six flies discovery kingdom and over the years, additions to parks such as SeaWorld San Diego, Lake Compounds, Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Busch Gardens Tampa, Sarka Niemi, Chimelong Paradise and also Bosque Magico have all been great investments throughout. And Adventure Island could be a future part to get a Skyrocket too. Now these are very compact roller coasters with the non-inverting loop and also the very tall barrel roll inversion at the top of the height limit of this roller coaster. Now, of course, another route that could go down is with a recent concept that we talked about in a very popular video on the channel at the minute. And that is, of course, the brand new Intamin LSM Vertical Launch Coaster concept. Now, this was released along with three other concepts by Intamin recently, this month. And, of course, this concept, again, is a very compact thrill coaster. So, I personally think we could see this at the park if given a financial boost post-COVID. And, you know, I think both these coasters will be incredible compact thrill coasters to add to the park. The second site is to replace the green screen. Now, the green screen is the Sierra Tivoli from 1999 with its booster wheel buff deal and designed by Ingboro Stengel GmbH, a well-known coaster installer. Now, I think there's one particular type of coaster that could we, we could see replace this. And that is, of course, the Vacoma Family Boomerang, the rebound version. Now, the Vacoma family boomerangs have been a stalwart of the theme parks across the world. Never mind just the UK and Europe, but around the world. And I think that the Vacoma family boomerangs are definitely here to stay. Now, there are nine rebounds since the whole concept of the rebound family boomerang came into production in 2016. With the likes of some going to Poulton's Park, Energylandia, Furevik, Global Village, there's some under construction in fact in China at places like Happy Valley and Fanta World and many many more different models of the rebound and other family boomerang concepts. Now a family boomerang is a coaster I've always wanted to see at Adventure Island for a number of years now and I think it's the perfect family coaster for the next generation that could thrill an entire new group of target market for Adventure Island theme park. And, you know, this coaster is such a, a new in-production model. I think this would give a new generation of thrills for the theme park. And I think that Green Scream's title has been taken off as the best coaster in the park to rage. And I think that Green Scream maybe has had its time. So maybe Green Scream is the next coaster to leave Adventure Island theme park. And this Vacoma Family Boomerang Rebound would be a perfect replacement. So there we go, that is looking at the Adventure Island roller coaster potential types. Now, like I said, either a Skyrocket 2 or the Intamin Vertical Launch Compact Coaster Concept uh, for the slide site, uh, or if we're going to replace Green Scream, I'd love to see that rebound Family Boomerang because I think the Family Boomerang would be a great investment for Adventure Island. Like I was saying earlier, it's a next generation of thrills. So. You know, it's, it's a very much a new in-production coaster. So, I definitely think that we could see something like that pop up at Adventure Island. Or a park like Adventure Island in the UK very, very soon. Um, so, this is definitely an incredible era for theme parks. Because you've got a great... Uh, selection of brand new technology being introduced into ride manufacturing. Yes, COVID-19 has not really helped much with the development of these attractions. However, you know, once we get out of this COVID phase, I do believe that we'll see investment at the parks again. We'll see more financial boost for the tourism and culture industries. And, you know, this is one of those parks that I think should help receive a financial boost. I think that, you know, back at the start of june there was a report that the owner actually came out and said they're concerned about the park's future uh post covid you know we want they want to reopen we you know they didn't know when so you know i think adventure island needs that financial boost and i think they need that boost of energy and support from people who don't really go to the local parks and you know focus on the massive you know chain parks like alton towers thorpe park chessington uh, Poulton's Park's become a big park now, so, you know, they like to focus on the big parks when also the, the the smaller parks, the more local parks to people, are more attractive as well. So, hopefully we can go out and support those local parks a bit more going into the 2021 season, 
And, you know, like I said, these types of coasters, I'd love to see them at Adventure Island because I think they're brilliant types of coasters that I think the park could profit from. Uh, so there we go. So that is this video from Adventure Island in South End on Sea. Massive shout out to Danny McGill suggesting the five year plan. That'll either be coming either sometime ne uh, this year or it will be coming in five years' time as part of an uh, expansion of the next five year series going into the next five year predictions between 2025 and 2030. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do the usuals. In the description down below, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. You can follow them all. I'm trying to get good on all of that. And um, for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.